today we are back with a landscaping series. With snow in the forecast later this week today, we will be putting the plows and salters on the trucks. We'll be heading over to the shop in our 2020 Silverado. Today will be a long day here for us as we get all five trucks, skid steer, and tractor ready for the snow plowing season. We will be putting all of our plow equipment inside so we will have to do a bit of organization. We did have a few landscaping jobs lined up this week, but they will have to wait until next season. The temperatures got really cold and we will be getting just about a foot of snow by the end of the week. This season we will be using three trucks with salters and sanders. We'll be putting those on, getting them filled with sand before the snowfall later this week. And we have arrived here at the shop. I think we'll just kind of get parked up over here for now, but there's a lot of rearranging we have to do. With the cold weather and the snow, I really like keeping the trucks indoors. It's a lot easier. They do uh, run a bit better at startup as well. Let's uh, kind of get going here on the process. Now, back here is where we keep all of our plows. Now, we are buying another plow today, a Western Wideout, but we have two V plows, a Wideout and a Fisher, and then this back one here here is a very old one and we'll be keeping that as a backup just in case a plow gets damaged or breaks we do have another one here so first we will have to move uh, the salter but before we could get to these we have to rearrange this we have to kind of get this reattached oh, I want to move this in that dumb trailer so why don't we uh, get this truck pulled out of the uh, garage and get going I have been getting quite a lot of requests to do some plowing videos here with the landscaping series. Uh, there will be lots coming here, which is going to be a lot of fun. This dumb truck, we will uh, go by the garage to pick up the new salter for it, which uh, should be pretty cool, and they'll put the plow mount on. Up first, let's get the uh, loader attached here. So this uh, Kubota tractor, we recently put the cab on for the winter, and uh, this will be used uh, for snow blowing, and we'll keep the bucket on the front. That way, uh, we could take this out to commercial lots and stack the snow high, and even maybe sometimes have to haul away the snow, depending on how much we get. For now, I think we'll just kind of move these out of the way as we really want to get all the trucks ready to go. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below. But it has been a bit busy so far, but it's been overall pretty good. Up next, I do want to move this, and I think we'll probably just tuck it right there next to the mini excavator. I really do enjoy the uh, snow plowing season. It's a lot of fun to run uh, with these trucks, and definitely we'll be doing some multiplayer plowing videos with uh, these series as well. Now one big thing I really do uh, try very hard for with uh, the uh, shop is no truck or no equipment used for snow plowing will be blocked in just in case one doesn't start. Uh, we don't want like three, four pieces behind that one and uh, kind of cause us headaches. So we'll make sure that how we park everything today is so that uh, we can easily take them out without having uh, to move another one. That's also nice that we do have a big enough shop to do that. Now, as we do head to the uh, dealership to pick up that new uh, plow, we'll definitely drop off the Skag Leaf Vacuum because that's it uh, for the season. But let's hop here in this. This is actually the uh, first truck that we'll be uh, getting the uh, plow put on. So we'll hop in this and see if we can move the dump trailer. We'll just kind of move the dump trailer a little bit further back in the shop, kind of out of the way. And it's going to be a little bit easier as anyways to get to the other one and we'll uh, put in where the bobcat is so we'll hop in the bobcat and we'll move that overall this landscaping series was a, a lot of fun here for me I really did enjoy it you guys enjoyed it as well a ton of views on the overall uh, landscaping series all the jobs upgrades we've done and uh, we will definitely be doing landscape type jobs but not with a series we'll be using kind of those one-off videos that I do like building uh, trailer park and things like that will be continuing to do just not officially with this series 
Now we are only running one skid steer here because those are tracks and I definitely don't want to tear up those tracks and I, I just don't want it to use that. But we, we could use them for uh, piling up snow and things like that. So we'll back it up a little bit more and I think right about there looks to be good. We could still get to those uh, skid steers which is definitely a good thing. We'll get this truck turned around but we do have to move that salter first. Now when we do get the plows attached, we have to make sure every part works on them or else we will have to bring them by. And that's kind of why I wanted to give a two to three day buffer before uh, the snow actually came. Now we are actually putting a seven foot wide straight blade on the uh, skid steer. I was going to do a box plow, but I think this straight blade is just a little bit easier and we already uh, have one here. So let's kind of see, can we just get this? We'll move it out of the way and this one will be a bit trickier to put on. So we'll have to maybe do this off camera, but we'll put one on camera and probably two off camera. So we'll just leave it there and we'll leave the skid steer running. Now this is a 9 foot Boss V plow with a uh, wide out attachment onto it. So it's a pretty wide, 10, 10 and a half foot, which is pretty good. So we got it attached here, we'll raise it up and we'll just check everything right now. So that wing works there, we'll check the other one, perfect. While we are here, we'll put the tailgate down. This truck will run one snowblower. So the plan this uh, season is for the big plows, the big wide plows to do the commercials while this truck here along with another one would do the residentials. That way the V plows are just a lot easier for those uh, residential driveways on where to put the snow and different things like that. Now as we do get these trucks kind of all set up, we will be kind of parking them in uh, the uh, necessary spots and this one will kind of go right along here so we'll get it backed in. We'll actually put this one right in front of the dump trailer. That's perfect, awesome. I really do like this uh, plow. Sometimes the stainless steel are better, uh, but I really do like that. So up next we do have the OBS. Now this OBS here will have that big black salter and uh, we will actually have a hitch salter on uh, the 04 and then we will have the one on the dump truck as well. And we will get it attached here, we will get it backed up and I might do a little bit of readjusting with these mounts but I think that they are good here so we will get this raised up. Now these are a bit tricky these wide outs so we will get them just checked both ways. I do always prefer to buy brand new plows just because these do get worn out pretty quickly and if you don't know really how to plow you could uh, damn it, put a lot of wear and tear on it that's not needed. Perfect, everything works. Now we will also be buying a uh, area uh, closed in area for the trailers. We don't want the trailers kind of where they are. Uh, we need to kind of clear a, around the uh, shop and I want them underneath shelter so that the uh, snow doesn't rust out the wood decks or even the uh, rust out or rot uh, the trailers in general. So up next, let's kind of see what's left. So I think we got both of those. So up next, we do have this uh, Fisher. So why don't we head over and get the uh, sander and also the plow mount on this truck. Now I did take the uh, box off the back, but leaf cleanups are over. We made a lot of money. Leaf cleanups are pretty profitable, but now it's just time to get ready for uh, the snow plowing season. And we have arrived. So we'll kind of hop in here. Now this is actually a tailgate salter. It's a little bit of a different design, which is good. And let's kind of see. So custom, we'll do light bar and do the uh, salter on the back and the plow mount. So there we go. Now with this truck, since it will be loaded with uh, salt, I do not want a big wide plow. So we only have an eight and a half foot plow here for us. I do want to be pretty realistic. Not all trucks need to have the latest and greatest and the straight blades are a bit more affordable as well. And when this is loaded with salt, I don't think pushing a ton of snow is probably healthy for the uh, transmission and the overall uh, condition of the truck. So we got the salter put on this. We will have to go by and pick up the uh, salt from the local supplier. 
Now this will be a little bit trickier here. We will have to move a few things uh, to kind of get this out, but we should be able to get it no problem. We'll pick up the uh, snowblower here, just kind of push it to the side, and this will put in the bed of the other truck today as well. And there's really no room uh, to get to these, but let's kind of see what we can do. We'll actually open up this door and bring these outside for now. Now the Kubota is mainly going to be for our sidewalks at our big commercial lots. We do have quite a lot of them, which is uh, going to be great. Those are the most profitable during winter as well. And if we don't get a lot of snow, uh, we won't be able to really put these trucks to use. Here we go. We finally have enough room here, and we'll get attached. We'll get it raised up. Definitely get it checked both ways. Now we'll also check the strobe lights. This truck is equipped with strobe lights, which I really want all of ours to. And yeah, this looks to be great. We'll put this truck here. It's going to be a little bit tight uh, to kind of get it here with these plows, but it looks like we'll definitely have these main garage doors for the uh, plow trucks. Now our truck will be the 2020 Silverado, that's why we are putting the stainless on that. That plows a few thousand more than uh, all the other ones. This stainless is the same configuration as our other reef plow with the wide outs. It's a very, very wide plow, and this will be our first time plowing with this uh, Silverado uh, this season here. Let's check the wings. They all seem to be working, which is great. Sometimes we do run into technical problems, but luckily, we haven't really had any. Now when we do hop out of the trucks, I do always put the plow down. It takes a lot of weight off the front suspension, and that's just something I really want to do. And uh, we will probably have to clean the mowers this uh, winter. I definitely want to do videos like that, so let me know if you would like to see that. I think those would be awesome videos. But for now, we'll get uh, this disconnected here. We do have to get some wiring for that truck, so we'll have to wait on that. And we'll get the uh, straight blade attached. Move the snow blower. That will go in uh, the 04, and we actually have to go get that plow. And while we uh, go to get it, we will also uh, drop off the Skag Leaf Vacuum. So we'll put this one right about here, and then we'll actually get the uh, Kubota turned around, and uh, that way the snow blower is kind of facing forward. Awesome, so we got all of that done. We'll get this door closed here. We are getting closer and closer, and then uh, we kind of get to relax for a few days. Let's hop here in the 04. We'll get the uh, leaf vacuum really quickly dropped off. We rented this for about a month, month and a half, and I think that's the way to go for something like this. There, it's just too much money to buy, maintain, when we only use it a few weeks out of a year. And also we have to store it in a few things like that, so we will bring it by uh, the dealership. Now when we picked it up, it was actually at the tractor supply. They did do a full maintenance uh, for the dealership and that's where we picked it up. We'll just drop it by the dealership and more than likely they're going to go get it serviced and get it stored for the winter. Now I'm very excited about this winter using this 04. This is one of my favorite trucks. Uh, I just really do like this body style, the look of the regular cab long bed and I can't wait to plow with it. We will be putting a hitch sander on the back and a snow blower in the bed. This will be for the big commercial lots and that's kind of why I wanted the big wide out. We'll just kind of leave this right here in front of the garage door and we should be good. Now I will do the uh, black sander and the uh, hitch sander off camera. It's a little bit easier uh, since I will have to kind of hop there and take the hitches off and things like that but we'll get attached you know I did redo uh, this hitch a little bit for the uh, plow but you guys didn't see there we go we got it on and this thing looks uh, pretty sweet 
Once we get it back to the shop, we'll do kind of a full test. But we actually have to use this truck to move some of those uh, trailers around, so we'll do that. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, out of all these uh, plow trucks and uh, the equipment for this winter, let me know which one would you guys want me to use a lot. I definitely want to do some live streams, uh, maybe a few hour long streams this winter, and just kind of plow and interact with you. One thing I really do like about FS19 is the realistic kind of weight distribution. So with the plows, the trucks do sit a little bit lower on the front end, which is pretty realistic. Right, so up next we will be buying that uh, trailer port is what we'll call it, and all of these will go under it. So let's hop here in the store, go to sheds here, and it's going to be the uh, 12 uh, feet, uh, 12 meters wide, and it's going to be a pretty big one, but it's definitely needed. So we'll come over here, and let's kind of see. I think we'll do this one here. It should be long enough actually to check the length. We'll do this, and <laughs> I think we'll do the longer one. It's pretty much the same money anyways, and uh, we'll probably take it down uh, during the season anyways. Only really wanted this for the winter. Perfect. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, if you have gotten snow. Yes, I do know that some of the United States has already got some, which is pretty cool. And hopefully more and more snow does come this season. The more snow, the more fun we do get to have here with these trucks. But yeah, I think this was the size to get. That way the trailers are in a few feet on either side because usually the snow will blow in just a little. Now I do want the other two trailers ready to go just in case we have to move the Kubota or the uh, skid steer. So we'll put this in and we'll put the 18 foot in front of this. Even if it does not snow and there's a little bit of rain uh, during the colder temperatures, we'll have to go out and salt. So there's plenty of things to do, even if it doesn't uh, snow, uh, big snow like two, three feet, even a foot. Uh, but I think we'll be plowing even if there's four or five inches. That's usually what I kind of gauge the uh, snowfall on. Some of our commercial lots do have zero tolerance, which means if we get an inch of snow, we will be going out and plowing as well. And we have that one more. I really do like how wide this is and I would definitely like to have kind of drop downs on the front and back to kind of close it off. But it's awesome that we get to have cool trucks and equipment in the game. Awesome, so that's pretty much it here. I do want to get the uh, snowblower in the back of this, and then that is it here. So you guys can see all the trucks are ready to go. We'll be uh, driving the 2020 back to our house, and we definitely will be getting a, draw, a garage very soon uh, for that uh, truck to keep it indoors. But here we go. We got all four trucks ready to go here, and we got the skid steer and the Kubota ready to go here in the back. And really quickly, the last thing is to put this in the truck bed. Now these are big enough to do the job, but light enough that we could kind of muscle them around, which is also a good thing. So that's kind of good there, and there we have it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed our long day getting all the plows on the trucks ready to go. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.